Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Tacket method on a wine tumbler. I already prepped the base and then I'm going to use Electrified by Sass and Crafts. You'll also need the Tacket over and over glue and a foam brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of the Tacket on my tin foil. And then I'm going to grab my tumbler and my brush and I'm going to start to put it on in even strokes. And I don't want to do a thick layer, I'm going to do it nice and thin from top to bottom. And I'm going to try to keep it nice and smooth um, on the overlap so that I don't have any areas that are uh, chunky. And I'm going to do this all the way over the whole tumbler. Once I completely coat the bottom, I'm going to let this dry for about 15 minutes before putting the glitter on. Once the tacket is dry, um, I'm going to go ahead and add the glitter, and I put the glitter in a cup already just to make it easier. I have um, a piece of paper to catch any fallen glitter, that way I can save it and reuse it. I have a glove because it does get a little bit messy. Um, you do not have to wear a glove, it's just something that I prefer. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply it the same way I would like the epoxy method. I'm going to hold it over the paper and shake it lightly onto the cup back and forth all the way around. And then dump off any excess onto the paper and then I'll use the paper to dump it back into the cup. Okay, now that we have finished glittering the cup, where I'm, I'm going to go ahead and save the glitter um, that's in the cup here. I can reuse that later on. However, I'm not going to save the glitter that we take off of the cup now. It's going to be um, a little chunky from the tacky method and just, you're not going to want to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glove on and then I'm going to brush back and forth on the cup with my fingers and basically rub in and rub off the excess glitter. And it'll give us that really nice holographic look that we're looking for. It kind of pushes it into the tacket and lays it nice and flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub all the way around the cup and the bottom as well.
Once we've brushed off all the glitter, we have our final product. And this is what it looks like. Um, you can see how the glitter is laying nice and flat, and we get that really awesome rainbow holographic ring that we were looking for. Um, and then don't forget, you want to seal this really, really, really well um, before you epoxy. And that's the tacking method. It's super easy. Thank you guys for watching.